Hi everybody, I'm Gordon of Thursday Vulcan Guitars. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 and this is my design plan. So, to start with, I'm going to start on the headstock side and show you everything that I've got planned for this guitar. When I need a new guitar is because I don't have that guitar. Meaning that my excuse to my wife is that I can't tune it to the right tuning. I can't play all these songs that I want to play. I really love these songs. I really love to play these songs. But I either have to use a capo on a really down-tuned guitar or I have to down-tune a guitar and then have to retune it again to play the other songs. So I want a guitar that I can tune to C. So that's what this guitar is all about. I wanted a longer neck. Rather than 25 and a half inch Fender Stratocaster type neck, um, I want a triple six neck. And triple six because it fits with these boards that I'm going to be making the neck out of. I do believe these are sold in order to make real hardwood floors. So hardwood floorboards. But I found they look really good as a neck. Um, the striping on them looks fantastic. They're about a metre long, and because I want to do a neck through, another guitar that I've never owned and I want to own, and I'm taking up the challenge of doing a neck through guitar. Yes, I am. They're about a metre long. That will take me from the tip of the headstock to roughly the back of the V, because I'm making this a V guitar. So why am I making this guitar? Because this is everything I wanted in a guitar. Longer neck scale, so I can tune it down and still have a bit of snap in the strings, because you know if you down tune your guitar, the strings become floppy. If you've got a longer scale, that's less likely to happen, or it doesn't happen. Triple six neck, for obvious reasons, because we're doing a heavy metal guitar, and heavy metal loves to use that number. And so I'm going to use that number in my guitar. Double locking tremolo system, and I wanted a V, but I don't want just any old V. I want something a little bit more unique than most. And so how do you make a V more original? So I've got a shark tail V. Now, if I was to go for a great white shark tail, then I would have the point of the guitar pointing, digging me in the chest, and the other bit digging in my thigh down there, because a great white shark's tail is very vertical. So I need to make it more in the style of a standard V. A standard V is about 40 degrees 40 degrees from side to side and there's a good reason for that because I've tried it narrower and I've tried it wider and the only one that looks good is 40 degrees so I'm gonna to have to stick with 40 degrees but I will change the back of it just ever so slightly to make it look like a reef shark I think it's a white tip reef shark that has a very um, narrow horizontal tail and so that's what I'm basing this on and I think that the out, how it's going to come out is going to be really, really cool. I'm going to have an inlay on the fretboard. No fret markings on the fretboard. Just the inlay at 12 and then side dots. Then for the body, the body is going to be kick-ass. Because it's not going to be like anything I've ever seen, I hope. It's not like anything that's out there. It's a V and I'm not going to make it solid body. I'm going to make it out of planks. So we're going to have a neck through made out of planks and then I have the body made with planks just on the outlines as so like so. This one's got a nice knot in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. I can't use this knot. I was thinking that would look awesome for an input jack but I can't use this knot because it's only half the knot. I'm going to use this piece for the, the back of the guitar over here, like so. And I'm gonna create a really cool joint that's gonna go into the neck. Now, the other thing about the neck is, in order to accommodate the trim system at this point, it's not gonna be wide enough. So I'm going to, again, laminate some maple over there, which should take me to the edges of the trim so that the cavity is covered. And then we're gonna have an outline over there, 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 and there. And then I'm going to put a top on. 
cover that top in quilted maple veneer. I dye it dark blue at the edges, lighter in the center, sort of like a, a burst. And then on the back, I'm going to cover the electronics and nothing else. I am also going to cut some uh, holes in it. I haven't, you can see here, there's some markings. I haven't quite figured out how to make it look good yet. So there's going to be some holes there and I'm going to put some LEDs to shine through them as well. Whether it's going to be a shark bite with red LEDs shining through or shark gills with blue LEDs shining through or maybe a little bit of something in between. I'll worry about that when I get there. So the neck is going to be, right, the maple is going to surround the mahogany. And then I'm going to put in my veneers. So I have them bending the same way. And then for the other set, bending in. And they're surprisingly strong energy in these bits of wood these flimsy bits of wood. Up you go. There you go. Okay, now you. Right, then I was going to put some veneer before the walnut, but I've decided against it because I think just the double stripe in the middle is going to make it look smart enough it doesn't need any more that would just be overkill we should be able to see some of the striping effect that will happen so hopefully you can see that and that's going to look smart really really smart and there's plenty of wood here to create most of the body fretboard and the 10 degree break angle on the headstock in, and including the headstock. All right, so the next thing you're going to see is the glue up of the neck and the veneers. Hi everyone, now it's time to do the uh, neck glue up. really helps to put the uh, glue on the uh, radiator when the weather is cold before I get started with this. Just standard white PVA glue. There's no reason to use anything else because it is stronger than wood.
walnut veneer is absolutely lovely and it's really nice to work with as well. It just behaves the way you'd expect it to, the way you want it to. Walnut veneer, now another piece of maple. Gonna have to get down the wood shop pretty quick if this doesn't work out. Oh wait, it's still locked down. I can't do that. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Can you make guitar necks out of pine? I think the answer to that question is no. You can make guitar bodies out of pine. I've seen that before and they turn out quite nicely too. In fact, there was one particular guitar I played at a guitar show. He said, no, this body's made out of pine. I thought you couldn't do that with guitars. He goes, no, 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 give it a try. Oh, I know what you like. He says, he puts on this amp sound setting. Oh, wow, I did like it. That guitar sounded fantastic. is done. Yep, use every single clamp in the workshop. Thanks for coming and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.